Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the top five cheaters in Magic the Gathering. Uh, we're going to start with Sato. Sato, who recently came off a disqualification for bribing or some type of issue over the prize. What did he do when he was going to lose the game? He did something kind of crazy and this shows you what Magic was like back in the day. Uh, his opponent, he picks up his deck, his own deck, moves cards around and offers his deck for his opponent to cut for no reason. So there's no fetch lands, there's no reason he's doing this, he's just randomly doing it. His com opponent is completely confused and cuts his Sato's deck. Sato immediately calls a judge and tries to get his opponent a game loss. And this is when Sato was going to lose the game on the turn, the next turn, and he decided this was the best way to uh, disqualify his opponent who was going to kill him by randomly cutting his own deck, offering the deck to his opponent, and then having his opponent cut the deck out of confusion and this being disqualified. So I am not sure like why anyone would expect to get away with this cheat, and I think that's why I have it as him as number five because this was back to back so it was a repeat uh the first dq was over prize support the second dq is just unexplainable i cannot no explanation to what happened there number four van cleave a picture says pretty much everything you need to know uh reporting back then was kind of like crazy um obviously it helps you if you know what the person next to you is drafting because then you can avoid the colors they're drafting and it will help you actually both but at the end of the day this picture is just hilarious because uh the wizard of coast comment which i don't think was meant to be sarcastic was saying that van cleave really wanted that t-shirt he was looking at and totally omitted probably one of the most famous magic images for cheating now Number three, we have Mark Justice. Back in the day, Mark Justice was the number one Magic player. He won pretty much all the events. He was in Inquest magazine all the time. He dominated the game, and he was also the biggest cheater of the game. Him and Mike Long. The only reason I don't have Mike Long here, pretty much Mike Long was more, he was called out on it. Mark Justice was put on a pedestal, and he would, Wizard of the Coast actually decided to do this, by the way, and his numerous cheating incidents were downgraded all the time. He was able to talk his way out of you know disqualifications he convinced judges that he was not the i mean the most epic cheat i've ever heard of was mark justice and mike long cheating against each other and mark justice because he's good with the judges he won that although they were both cheating at the same time now number two steven speck why steven speck outranks all the previous cheaters minus one very famous cheater has to do with what how he was cheating he was putting cards in laps and he was playing a combo deck so back in the day carnivorous bloom or whatever that card was combos off with prosperity i mean combo was just like terrible combo but obviously if you can draw the pieces every single time it becomes a lot better steven speck wins on turn one so if he's on the play you have no interaction with him on modern and he was bold enough to say that the deck that he was playing amulet bloom would be banned that he was going to get the deck banned on twitter some dude responded hey no you're going to be the one banned because everyone knew what he was doing this is a guy who continued to pull off turn one win after turn one win and then brag about it it is beyond my understanding of why you would possibly do that because if people are talking about how many turn one wins you have you are going to be called out and he was but number one the face of cheating and magic alex Bacini. there's no one i can think of who has cheated for more money at higher levels than this guy he has a you know look at the picture of the check look at the picture of his power nine look at the picture of and he has no regrets about cheating. Um, the first time he was caught cheating, well, not the first time, but the first time he was banned for cheating, he, when he returned, he, his quote was, did you miss me? And then when he was commenting about the two explorers, he pretty much made a joke about it. And there was no remorse uh, from his side about cheating and about essentially taking money away from the other participants. You cannot beat 
and Alex Pacini when he's cheating. You cannot be him. That's the reason he wins all of these events. Um, it is not surprising that as soon as he returned, he started winning again. Um, and people will be like, oh, he's a great player. He's great at something, but I don't think it's playing magic. So Alex Pacini definitely takes the number one spot. Uh, mainly because of the whole repeat incident. That, I mean, you're banned from years. You come back and you get banned within like the same year. Um, and people don't want to play against you because even if you're playing, if you're not cheating, like how do they know? Your reputation is just so horrendous um, that even if you weren't cheating, I'm sure somebody would have mistaken you for cheating and called a judge on you. At all times, you would need a judge just for this one guy.